Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I've done a video, but I haven't really done anything exciting and didn't think about it while I was in the middle of prep, but I figured I could show you afterwards. Today I'm prepping a spaghetti squash for Tuesday's meal. Um, as you can see, you want to make sure you cut the squash in half. I specifically use my chef knife this time just because it's pretty sharp, um, but generally I try to use just a really large blade. Once you cut it in half, I take my grapefruit spoon and I get all of the innards out. Then what you need to do is go prep it. So I'm going to carry you over to my stove. Alright, I think you can see my baking dish. So you're going to take your spaghetti squash and I'm reusing a pan I just finished roasting some vegetables in. and realize you're out of olive oil in your bottle, so I guess we'll just use this. You just want to put a little bit of olive oil. Oops, that was a little bit more than a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, once you do that, you want to put the oil around it. Same thing on this side. I'm going to quick wash my hands so my hands aren't too oily. Alright, then you want to put some salt and pepper. A couple turns of my salt, a couple turns of my pepper. Then you're going to actually flip them upside down so that the hard part is at the top. See? And then you stick them in your oven for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, Google, set a timer for 40 minutes. And then in 40 minutes, I should have done spaghetti squash and then I'll shred it up and I'll show you that later. Thanks. All right, so the spaghetti squash is cooked for 40 minutes and then I kind of leave it in the oven to cool a couple minutes, especially because I was moving on to other things. Um, so this is how then you prep it. So you flip it over, should look a little nice and nice and done there. And then find a good place to put this. Yeah. Okay, and then you take your fork and you just shred it should start to turn into like pasta. Mm, my shell's a little too hot, hold on. Sometimes I use a hot pad if it's still too hot. And I just keep shredding. You'll know where to stop because you'll see how this is the shell and there's no more flesh. That's when you know you've gone far enough. And I like not to waste any part of it, so I scoop out as much as I possibly can. And then I have a dish of spaghetti squash. Mine's a little mushy because I kind of like it a little better that way, especially since I'm going to be sauteing it up. Um, but that's how you do a spaghetti squash. Hope you enjoyed.